So you want to look rich with a fancy car, but don't want to break the bank. Like every single person in Los Angeles or Miami. Maybe you want a sweet ride to impress your friends or to pick up girls, or maybe you're a car enthusiast and want a cool car just because you love cars. Regardless, there is no denying the appeal of a sweet ride. People say you are what you drive, although I'm not quite sure what that says about Mark Zuckerberg, who drives a Acura TSX. I think that definitely confirms that he is in fact a lizard. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to go with no on that. Uh, I, I, am, I am not a lizard. Pulling up to the club in something fancy might just get you the attention of that girl you are looking at so you can enjoy her presence for 31 seconds exactly when you're back home and then realize she just wanted you for your money. So let's jump in. Here are some cheap cars that'll make you look rich. First up is the sexy Audi R8. Made famous by Tony Stark, Driving around in that drop-dead gorgeous Audi makes you look like a superhero. And it was once extraordinarily expensive, and now it's not. Get this, the average new car price in America is getting crazy, $39,000. That's right, your average Toyota or Ford ain't so cheap anymore. And well, the Audi R8 used to cost over $115,000. You can now get one for less than a Ford Explorer Limited. Yeah. Now, we're talking about the first generation 2008 with the V8. If you scour eBay Motors or Craigslist, it's really not that hard to find one for under $50,000. That's right, Ford Explorer Limited, Audi R8, uh, I don't know, you tell me. Some even go as low as $40,000. That's the same price as a new Toyota Avalon. Once again, Toyota Avalon, Audi R8, let me know. It's got a screaming V8 that sounds amazing. It makes 430 horsepower, and you can get it with a manual transmission. Now, owning one doesn't instantly make you Tony Stark, but you could probably pay the part by just going to a local spy shop, spending like 10 bucks, and having some weird gadgets with your R8 and yeah, you'd fool people. Number two is the Vader G35. A cool enough car for the Joker to use in Suicide Squad. In fact, it actually starts as a pretty cool car underneath. The Vader G35 starts life as an Infiniti G35. A car with a three and a half liter V6 makes 298 horsepower. It's actually pretty quick. It also happens to sound pretty good too, kind of like a GTR's. Same, same, only different. So you get a G35. A 2005 G35 will cost you about $10,000. And then the full Vader body kit, another 11K on top of that, for a total of $21,000. Now you literally have everything to have your car transformed into something that looks like a $3 million Lycan Hypersport. I mean, literally, look at the G35 and now look at the Lycan Hypersport. One is 21 grand and the other is 3 million. They both have six cylinders and, well, I have no idea why you would buy a Lycan Hypersport. Now, to the casual observer, your $21,000 Vader G35 looks like a million dollar plus car. There's nothing else like that custom body kit and honestly they did a fantastic job with it. To a car enthusiast, you got a G35. That sounds good, it's fun to drive and has a crazy body kit. It really is a win-win. Next up is a 2006 or 2007 Aston Martin Vantage. That's right, James Bond's car oozing with class and the ability to make married women seemingly single for the night used to cost a crazy $110,000 plus, meaning it was reserved only for the rich. But now depreciation has taken its toll and has brought the car down into the realm of possibilities for the everyday person searching for a new car. It's got an incredible sounding V8, it's sleek, it's sexy, the interior is nice, literally you can't really hate on an Aston Martin, and now, it's less than the price of an average new car for an Aston Martin. That's right, you can get a 2006 Vantage GT for $35,000. That's less than the price of a Kia Stinger GT. Kia, Aston Martin, I mean, once again, let me know guys, which one are you picking? Personal experience has shown that the ultimate car for getting female attention 
get this, it's not a Ferrari, not a Lamborghini, it's not a Porsche, it's an Aston. Why is that? Maybe because they think you're James Bond, maybe because it has an amazing sounding 4.3 liter V8 that makes 430 horsepower, maybe it's because the car does zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds, or the fact that it looks freaking drop dead gorgeous. Oh yeah, you can even get it in a convertible. And there's an option for a manual. Manual Aston, I'm down. Okay, okay, so maybe you need four seats. That way you and your friend can go for a ride, pick up some new friends or some girls at the club. Maybe you need something a little bit more practical than an Aston. Well, how about a Bentley? That's right, some Bentleys are now affordable. Read the Bentley Continental GT, a car loved by rappers, basketball players, especially old white couples. The Continental GT has dropped in price so much, it's actually terrifying, but for you and me, that is an amazing, amazing thing. Back when the car was released in 2004, the Bentley Continental GT would have run you $135,000 as the starting price. Well. Many, many years later, in 2020, you can find these all day long for thirty dollars to $35,000, and you're driving around in a Bentley Continental GT, which is like every old person in Florida's dream. They just don't know how easy it is to get into one of those cars by used people. You can now roam the streets, uh, driving the car, asking random people if they have gray poupon, asking random pedestrians, hey, do you know where the nearest Ritz Carlton is? I'm going there now, I'm very, very wealthy. Or you can wear a top hat and permanently refer to yourself or anyone in the driver's seat as Jeeves. Why would you do that? Get a Bentley, find out for yourself. So yeah, a Bentley Continental GT or a Honda Passport. Both allude to traveling, but I mean, Honda Passport? What? Okay, so maybe you want something a bit more understated. Once again, something with actual room in the back, unlike the Bentley where you kind of have to chop your legs off to sit in the back and then maybe you won't have back problems. Let's go under $20,000 this time. See, the Audi S8. A 2008 Audi S8 is now $20,000 and below. Sometimes you can find them for even as low as $12,000. And the best part, it comes with a Lamborghini motor. That's right, yep, literally the same 5.2 liter V10 slightly reworked from the Lamborghini Gallardo was put into an Audi that cost well over $100,000. And now you can have it for as low as $12,000. Audi S8, luxurious, incredible amenities, stylish, comfortable, cool, it's an Audi, and then it's an S model, which makes it even sportier. Has a Lamborghini engine in it, a V10 that sounds ridiculous. I mean, an exhaust on this thing. And for 20 grand, you've got one of the most ridiculous cars ever made. Oh yeah, and the V10 makes 450 horsepower in a four-door sedan. It also does zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds, and it can fit five people comfortably. I'd say that's a win, win, win. It just, it's a win all around, guys. Last but not least, we have one of the best looking cars ever made, and that is the Maserati Gran Turismo. You even sound cool saying the name of your car, so anytime someone asks, you're like, oh, I drive a Maserati Gran Turismo. Probably never do that, actually. You should just definitely not do that, but the car is still cool. The Maserati Gran Turismo is an amazing way to buy a car that doesn't break the bank and it certainly makes you look rich. When the car came out in 2008, millions of men around the world and women and children cried in harmony over the beautiful design of the car and the incredible V8 exhaust note. This is a fact. Google it on Wikipedia or it probably exists out there somewhere. It's got a 4.2 liter V8 sourced from Ferrari that makes over 400 horsepower. Ferrari V8 in a stylish car that's affordable. This is like the biggest win ever. It also has two seats in the back for your friends who are nowhere near as tall as your friends in the front. Otherwise, they will have back problems 
immediately, but hey, at least you can fit people in the back and I think it makes your insurance a little bit less too because of the extra seats. What once cost $115,000 new can now be yours for $31,000. Maserati, I love that. I mean, I feel bad, the cars have depreciated and you know, they came out with a Ghibli and that wasn't so good and basically a Chrysler 200S with a badge on it and then the Levante, they didn't really fix it and their brand is going down and yeah, there, but you know what? It helped. It helped with depreciation a lot. And the Gran Turismo and all the cars before the Ghibli, uh, as well as the Levante, were freaking epic cars, guys. Well, there you have it. Cars that are so cool that when people ask you how much you paid for them, you can simply look at them and go, <laughs> more than you can afford, pal. Or if you actually care about them, you can send them the link to this video and you can tell them that you got a ridiculous deal for the money. That's what Vehicle Virgins is all about, guys. Getting good deals on epic cars. And I can't think of better cars for the money than these. Obviously, not everyone wants to get a car to look rich. It's kind of pointless. People will figure out that like, you know, you're not rich or why'd you do that? Or why are you buying a car for a status symbol? But the reality is there are a lot of superficial people out there and they do believe that what you drive is an indicator somehow of your life's success. I don't know, maybe like happiness or like having a good family or I don't know, other things could be probably way more important than what car you drive. But regardless, there's something epic about having a cool car. Sitting in a fun, sexy, cool car helps boost your self-confidence and maybe that's what you need to take things to the next level in your social life, in business, or with relationships. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. Make sure to turn that notification bell on so you stay up to date to the latest and greatest vehicle virgins videos. Let's get this video to 10,000 thousand likes guys and i'll make a supplemental video targeting cars that are even cooler whether it's cheaper you guys want a cheaper category of cars under 20 grand or you want the coolest cars ever that are under 50 or seventy-five thousand dollars that once were hundreds of thousands of dollars depreciation is your friend and guys good luck car shopping take it easy